Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box? In regards to this, this is the latest Goonies board game that has been published by the op. This is the Goonies Escape with One-Eyed Willie's Rich Stuff. A game that follows the plot of the very popular Goonies movie, something that's near and dear to my heart having grown up watching it, as well as the references to Detroit, because I grew up in Windsor, Ontario, which many people like to call South Detroit. So for some reason, the, the, the movie felt closer to home. Of course, the whole movie was about the kids trying not to move here, but let's forget that. So this is a Coded Chronicles game from the op, which is done by the awesome Sen Foon Lim and Chris Cormier. This is a very cool escape room in a box style game where you're going to take on the roles of Goonie characters who you're going to use to explore the map and read from books to find out what happens. Now, the big problem with me doing an unboxing of this is I don't want to spoil anything. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the, what's in the box. I'll show you the, the elements. I'll try to flip over, assuming there's a first room, and kind of show you how the system works, but I don't want to go past that. So what you're going to get to really see is the amount of stuff in this box. Not exactly all of it, because I don't want to spoil anything. This is an escape room style game that unfortunately can only be played once. Now, this is for one or more players. You can work together, and I strongly recommend when playing this game that you have a player per character. We found this with both the previous Coded Chronicles games, that it's way better if everyone gets their own individual book to read from. So enough of a preamble. I'm going to read the back of the box off to you for her, those of you who haven't seen it before does say, uh, The Goonies Escape with One-Eyed Willie's Rich Stuff, Cody Chronicles. It's a race to save the Goondocks. Take on the roles of the Goonies. So here's how many players you may want. Mickey, Brand, Mouth, Data, Andy, Steph, Chunk, and Sloth. And begin the quest to claim One-Eyed Willie's treasures. Okay, with that many players, maybe you want to pair up and each take two. This adventure takes cunning, special skills, and teamwork as players decode the needed clues and solve puzzles to reach the Inferno. Determination is of the utmost importance if you hope to stay one step ahead of the Fratellis. Um, there's over 120 things in this box, including eight secret envelopes with over 25 puzzles to solve. So lots of content. Let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, here we go. We're going to crack open the Goonies for the first time. Don't worry, no spoilers. I won't spoil anything here. I love the cover. The cover is extremely well done. We have a Read This First Adventure Guide, which I'll flip through quickly. So there's how to set, oh, it looks like we got a huge map. That's awesome. Everyone's going to have their own book. That's the same as before. You've got map tiles and as well as a bunch of clue cards. So this looks very similar to the other Crota Chronicles games. Uh, it looks like we're going to have the doubloon. If that's metal, I'm going to lose my, my stuff. Um, how to move the game, how to map the caves. Look at all the characters. That is the most characters I've seen in a Crota Chronicles game. Um, it looks like the system is done the same. Yes, the system is the same as the previous Coded Chronicles games. So what I'll do is I'll kind of show you how that works. So the characters each have a number on the bottom of them and, and an ability. So this character has Explore. You're going to match that up with something on the board, put those together, and then read that in the appropriate book. And that's how this game basically works. Um, there is a hint section here in the back. There's even an intermission. And then we have the, the a score tracker on the back to see how well you did, because obviously you can be caught by the Fratellis. So then we get into the different books. So each character is going to have their own book. So Mikey has their own book, and you're going to read things off here. So I'm literally, I'm not even going to keep flipping, because it's just a bunch of paragraphs to read. Very short book, though. So Mickey doesn't, Mikey, Mikey doesn't, sorry, Mikey doesn't say, have as much as, say, some of the other characters. And it's also possible that all these characters may not be unlocked at the beginning of the game. You might need to unlock them as you play. So we're going to put Mikey's book here. Then you have Bran's book. And I do dig the fact they're all done based on different things, which, like I said, not a lot to see here. Um, one thing I will say, the quality is completely different than the previous games. These are all paper. Where in the other one, they were the plasticized paper. I think this is better. This is more, it feels better on my hands. And probably cheaper to produce. You've got mouths. Wow, mouth. It might be in it long. Not a lot to say. You've got Andy. Andy's got lots. Steph. Not too short a book. I'm really amused that that um, 
six and seven. I'm not, I'm not sure why Chunk is two bucks worth. Although, uh, Chunk did talk a lot in it. Yeah, Chunk's got a nice thick book. And while Sloth, I am really shocked that Sloth is, is a playable character. In a way, it's someone you're going to interact with. And Data. All right, here we have the various envelopes. Interestingly, they're not just like named, um, you know, envelope one, envelope two. So you have the Goondocks, the Shipwreck Cove, the Ucola State Park. Again, I'm not opening these. Canyon Beach Dunes, a lot more locations than the previous games. Astoria Column, which this one's interesting. It's bulging, there's something cool in there. River's Edge. Cauldron Point. Oh, it's not it's it's not metal. I was really hoping you get like metal or something. So here's here's the doubloon. Gold Rock Beach. Then we have map tiles, which again I'm not gonna reveal anything except I will reveal A, assuming I have characters I can show you. So I'm gonna put that aside. We have a number of very large tarot size cards that come shrink. Again, I don't want to really reveal anything here, so I don't want to spoil anything. A dry erase marker, and the map, which is meant to be written on with the dry erase marker. That is cool. That has me excited. Um, there's obviously a, a mad fold-in thing here with the two parts of this doubloon. Oh, and there's music notes on the back. Who knows? But yes, this is dry erase, which is really cool. Then you have the intermission envelope. This is a good one to point out. So halfway through the game, you will be able to save. So the whole thing, I don't know what they list as a time. Does it say on here? The previous ones were two hours. This doesn't have a time listed on it. But what you would do is play through half of the, of the adventure, and then you could continue and finish it all in one night. But if you wanted to, you could save. And actually what's really interesting is this one, unlike the other two Coded Chronicles, is three acts. So you can actually save twice during this game, and then this envelope is used to save the information so you can start back up. So there you go. That's everything we have. Unfortunately, I don't have any characters, so I can't really show off the Code of Chronicles system to you. But I'm gonna reveal this one map quick. So what you would do is here is a map. You would put a character next to that and interact with it, which map tile A obviously wasn't like a neat location to explore, so we're gonna hide that right away. We left it up for seconds, that's it. So what you basically do is you have numbers on the cards and on the map, and you pick a character to interact with that number, then you read the total number in the book to see what happens. That is the whole Coded Chronicles system, which I have to personally say is brilliant. I love the Coded Chronicles system. The Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion is one of the best experiences my family has had playing board games together of all time. There you have the Goonies Escape with One-Eyed Willie's Rich Stuff. There you have what you get in the box for the new Goonies Coded Chronicles game from the op. I am really excited to check this one out. There is way more stuff in this box than any of the previous Coded Chronicles games. There's a lot more going on. It looks like a lot more locations to visit. And wow, a huge number of characters. Each character is going to have a different way they interact with the game. One character will get to explore and another will get to do something else like interact or fiddle or something. Uh, so here you have what you get in the box for Coded Chronicles. I uh, note this was 100% spoiler free. I kind of wish I could have showed it off, but I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I am really looking forward to playing this one, at least with my wife and probably with my kids, though they've never seen the Goonies. So step one is going to be to convince them it's not that scary and they should sit down and watch the Goonies and then we can play this all together. It uh, looks like you might want a very big player count to be able to um, each have your own book, but then I know some of the books are really short. So I have a feeling this is going to be like the Scooby-Doo Coded Chronicles game where characters will jump in and out of the game so that you only control a small number at a time. But we'll see. I don't actually know. So there you go. Goonies, Escape with One-Eyed Willie's rich stuff from the op. Looks fantastic. Dry erase map. Oh, that just could be cool on its own. 25 puzzles, I think it said to solve. Yes, 25 puzzles, eight secret envelopes, lots of components. You have no idea how heavy this is. This is it, it's, it's not like wooden insert heavy, but like oh, compared to the other Crota Chronicles games, we love Scooby-Doo. Looking forward to checking this one out. Thank you, The Op, for sending us a copy to check out. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, where I'll be talking about our plays of the Goonies once we get it to the table. You'll also be able to find a review on our YouTube channel. Again, youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop and our blog, tabletopbellhop.com. 
If you dug this video and enjoy our content, it'd be cool if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. And you also get cool stuff like access to our Discord, some bonus audio, and other stuff we only send out to patrons. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. Good day and game on.